today's subject is mathematics of standard 4th and name of the chapter is word problems addition and subtractions part 2 dear children we have already completed word problems Addition and Subtractions Part 1, isn't it? In that, we have solved so many problems on addition. Right? Do you remember? Okay. Today, we are going to solve the word problems based on subtractions. And also, we will solve mixed sums. Okay? that uh, carry both addition and subtractions. Now, let us move to our sums. Subtract. First, we will do one simple subtraction in the table. Okay, then we will move to our word problems. Yes, here you can see the sum. Correct? This is in horizontal arrangement. We will arrange this sum in vertical arrangement. See this? We will write. We will always write numbers from unit place. That you know. Isn't it? Okay. It is 7843 minus 66000 586. Okay. 5 digit number. Now we will subtract this. Now always we begin subtraction from unit place. This is subtraction by borrowing. Correct? With borrowing. Now here in the unit place we have to subtract 6 from 3. It is not possible because 6 is greater than 3. So what we do? We borrow from the left hand side. Correct? Here tens place is there and 4 is there. We will borrow from 4. So here 3 it becomes 13 because here 4 it gives 110 to here unit place. So, here it became 10 plus 3, 13. You all know this, correct? We have already learnt about this in standard third, isn't it? Okay, now here 13 minus 6. How much? Yes, good. That is 7. Now, here in the tens place, 3 minus 8. Again, not possible. Again here 3 will borrow from 100's place. That is 8 is there. Correct? Now 8 gives 100 to 10's. So it becomes 7. And here it becomes 13 10's. Correct? Now 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is how much? Yes. 5. Isn't it? 13 minus 8 is 5. Now in the hundreds place, 7 minus 5, very simple, so that is 2. Now in the thousands place, 7 minus 6, that is 1. And in ten thousands place, 8 minus 6, that is equal to 2. Now we will read the answer, that is 21,257. Isn't it? Okay, same procedure we have to follow in word sums, word problems with subtraction. Okay? Now here is your first sum. See this? First we will read the sum. Then we will try to understand that and then we will go for the method. Okay. This year 6543 students 
got admission in the city school. Out of these, four thousand four hundred sixty-seven are boys. How many girls got the admission in that school? This is our sum. Okay, word problem. Now, what is given here? We will try to understand. Okay, by using the columns. Yes, what is given here? Here it is given that total students admitted in that city school were six thousand five hundred forty-three. Okay, out of these number of boys are four thousand four hundred sixty-seven. It is given in the word problems. Correct? It is given here in the question. Now next some next point is. What to find out? What is asked here? Yes, how many girls got the admission? Yeah, number of girls we have to find out. Okay, total students we know and number of boys also we know. Yes, you are right. When we subtract number of boys from the total students, we will get number of girls. But which method we have to follow here? Yes, you are right. That is subtraction. Because here, out of these, how many girls? Correct. So it is subtraction. Now we will proceed to the method. See, here we will do method. We know subtraction. We have to follow. So we will write total students up. Six five four three. That is six thousand five hundred forty three. Okay. Always start from right hand side. Okay. And minus four thousand four hundred sixty seven. Now we will begin our subtraction. Three minus seven. I will not show you your borrowing and all that. You have to remember. And you have to carry out the subtraction. We know here thirteen. Thirteen minus seven. How much? Six, isn't it? Now here four is there, but it is three borrowed from four. So here it is three, isn't it? Thirteen minus six again. Thirteen minus six. That is seven. Correct. Now here four, correct? Four minus four, that is zero, and six minus four is two, isn't it? Yes, means you can say here we will write answer. The total girls admitted are two thousand seventy six. Correct? Total boys are four thousand four hundred sixty seven, and total girls are two thousand seventy six. For the students, now we have to follow these steps while solving the word problems. Each step has a marks. Okay, each step has mark. So we have to follow all these steps. Let us move to the second sum. We will read. I scored. Nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six points in a game. Okay, this is a video game. I scored nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six points in a game. My brother, he scored two thousand five hundred fifty less points than me. Please try to understand. And hence he lost the game. I won the game, and my brother lost the game. How many points? Did he score? Okay, now we will frame a table. Here, yeah, what is given? My points, correct? That is seven thousand nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six, and score difference between me and my brother is two thousand five hundred fifty, isn't it? Okay, now. What is asked here? What is asked? Scores of my brother. Now 
what method should we use that is subtraction isn't it you are right now we will proceed to method you know now we have to minus one number from the other one that is my points they are more correct so we will write first 9876 minus 2550 isn't it when we minus the difference scores between me and my brother then i will get the scores of my brother isn't it here we will begin our subtraction 6 minus 0 is equal to 0 sorry 6 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 and 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 isn't it means my brother scored 7326 points right here we have to write answer like this the score of my brother was 7326 points i hope you understood the sum children see this based on the given information make one addition and one subtraction problem each and solve the problems means they will give some information to us we have to frame a question one for addition and one for subtraction and then we have to solve okay we will try see the information given is number 1 rupees 4500 worth for fodder and rupees 2835 worth of other animal feed means this is money you know because it is rupees and what is the meaning of fodder that is animal food that is called fodder one type of animal food okay and another type that it is given as animal feed okay he purchased two types first for rupees 4500 and another animal feed for rupees 2835 this information is here correct now we will try to frame a question of addition this is given information correct cost of the fodder is rupees 4500 and cost of the other animal feed that is rupees 2835 see this now addition sum try to make a simple word problem by using this given information rupees 4500 used for fodder and rupees 2835 used for used to purchase other animal feed what is the total amount used yes dear children you know that for addition we have to use words like total or you can use sum S U M, or you can use plus, P L U S, or you can use all together. What to use? All together. Correct. These four words we can use for addition sums. Okay. Now here, what is the total amount used? What we have to do here? Yes, addition. You. now we will do addition of these two numbers rupees 4500 plus rupees 2835 see this you know addition here in the unit place 5 then 
then 5 plus 8 that is 13, then 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Isn't it? This is our answer. Means what is the total amount used here? Rupees 7,335. Got this? Okay, same information we will use and we will make a subtraction sum. Information is same. Now, subtraction sum we will make. See this. Rupees 4500 used for fodder. Okay. And rupees 2835 used to purchase other animal feed. This we know. Now, question is how much more amount used to purchase fodder than other feed. We have to find out the difference. What this? We have to find out the difference between these two means that is belong to subtraction. Isn't it? When we find, when we want to find out the difference, it becomes subtraction and we, when we want to find out left amount, that is also subtraction. If we use subtract the word, then also it becomes subtraction. And if we use minus word, M-I-N-U-S, minus, then also the sum becomes subtraction. Okay, got this? Okay, now we will proceed to our method. Rupees 4500 minus rupees 2835. What is the answer here? See this. Rupees 1665. You know this subtraction, correct? So I have written directly the answer. Now how to write answer here? More amount used for fodder than other animal feed was rupees 1665. What this? There are so many sums based on this in your textbook. Please practice them. Okay. Now we will move to mixed problems. Mixed problems means that has both operations that is addition and subtraction. Your first thing is we must have to understand the given problem properly. Okay. Then we will come to know which operation we have to make first and which one afterwards. Let us move to our sum. See this is our sum. First we will read the price of a computer is 25,709. The price of a printer is 3,280 and the price of a scanner is 2,190. What is the total cost of the three items? Same sum I have taken for addition in part 1. Isn't it? And up to here it was there. Now this we added to make it mixed sum. See what is the next sentence? And how much amount left from the sanctioned amount which is equal to rupees 40,000. Dear children, what is given here? The cost of computer, printer and scanner it is given. Okay. And earlier the money was sanctioned to purchase all these three items. How much that was? Rupees 40,000. Okay. Now, I purchase all these three items. Now, it is asked, what is the total cost of all these three items? That is, first we have to solve. Then afterwards, what we have to find out? We have to find out how much money left. Okay, we will go through steps. What is given? See this, cost of computer, 
cost of printer and the cost of scanner it is given isn't it okay now what is asked here total cost number 1 here what is the total cost of the three items it is asked and what is the second question here amount left from the sanctioned amount okay see here two operations we have to carry out what method should be used here number for number 1 we have to go for addition because total total correct this word only tells us that is addition and second one amount left see this is left amount that is nothing but subtraction what this okay we will move for method first we are going to do addition these three amounts i will write one below the other see this okay now we will add from unit place 9 plus 0 plus 0 that is 9 in the tens place 8 plus 9 that is 17 isn't it 7 we will write one we have to remember in the hundreds place 7 plus 2 Plus one plus one, isn't it? Eleven. So one we will write down and one is carried over. Now again we have to remember one in thousands place we have to add that one. Correct? Now five plus three that is eight. Then two, ten, plus one that is eleven. So one I will write here and one is carried over. So you have two. Plus one, that is nothing but three. Yes, we will write answer here. Total cost of three items is equal to rupees thirty one thousand one hundred seventy nine. Got this? Our first part is over up to here. Okay, our part this part is over. Or here total cost addition. This is over. Now we will move to the second question. that is amount left so we have to carry out subtraction correct now we will write first sanctioned amount that is 40000 okay now what we will minus total amount of these three items that is 31179 now we will subtract Zero minus nine, not possible, isn't it? So we will borrow from tens place. Nothing is there. From hundreds place, again zero. From thousands place, again zero. So we will move to ten thousands place. Right? Now here it gives one ten thousand to thousands place. Okay, first you have to remember here, here four. Here in the unit place you will get one ten means ten. Yes, so ten minus nine is equal to one. Now in the tens place nine will be there. In the hundreds place nine hundred will be there. In thousands place nine thousands will be there. Remember, okay, only in the unit place ten we will get. And rest all nine 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 nine. Okay, maybe any any number of zeros it will become nine. So here nine minus seven is equal to two. Nine minus one is equal to eight. Nine minus one is equal to eight. Here three correct three minus three is equal to zero. So nothing is there. Okay, now what is the amount left? That is eight thousand eight hundred twenty-one, isn't it? We will write our answer here. Amount left is equal to rupees eight thousand eight hundred twenty-one. Got this? If you not understood, please pause the video again. Go back and again you start the video. Okay. we will move to next one 
See, this is our sum. We will try to read and understand. The total amount spent on building a certain house was, see this, a big amount, 87 lakhs, 14,530. See, that is total amount spent on building a house, house building. Okay. Of this amount, 24 lakhs, 72,615 were spent on buying the plot of land then 50 lakhs 43720 on the construction material we need cement bricks all that correct so it is used and the rest on labor charges labor charges means the people who work over there they will get money isn't it that is called labor charges what was the amount spent on labor that we have to that we must have to find out okay first i will try to show you see this this is a house amount spent on building of this house is rupees 87 lakh 14530 okay now here see this this is a plot to buy this plot he gave 24 lakhs 72,615. Correct? Before building this house, he purchased this plot for this amount. Okay? Then afterwards, he purchased or he brought so many different materials. Sea bars, jelly, bricks, cement, sand. How much he spent on this? 50 lakh 43,720. He used all these materials and he constructed the house on this plot. Okay. And how much amount? Okay. These are called labors. How much amount he gave or he spent on the labors who helped him to construct this house? We have to find out. Right? So, this amount we have to find out. Now, dear children, see this. I will tell you, this is total amount spent and these two are given. That is for the plot and that these are this amount is for the material. When we add these three amounts, this also, then we will get, we have to get this amount. Total cost, isn't it? Correct? Okay. First what we will do? First we have to find out the labor charge. Here first what we will do? We will add. See stepwise we will go. First step. This is our total amount spent on building house. Isn't it? So I will minus the cost of the plot. What we will get? We will see 0 minus 5, that is 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, again 15 minus 6 is equal to 9, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, 11 minus 7 is equal to 4, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2, 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. Isn't it? This is cost of material and labor. Okay, because we have subtracted the cost of the plot. Got this? This you have to remember. We will carry forward this amount. In the step 2, we will write this. That is the cost of material and labor. From this, we will minus cost of the material that we know that is 50,000, 50 lakhs, 43,720. Correct? Now, we will minus. Now, here 5 minus 0 that is 5 
11 minus 2 that is 9, 8 minus 7 that is 1, 11 minus 3 that is 4, 3 minus 4 that is 9, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1, correct? Yeah, this much amount left that is Yes, that is amount spent on labor. We got the answer here. Correct? What we did? First, we subtracted the what the plot cost from the total amount. Correct? Then we got the cost of material and labor amount. From that, we have subtracted the cost of material. Correct? Now, we got our answer that is amount spent on labor. This is our proper answer that is 11,98,195. Isn't it? This is our answer. Yes, dear children, if you want to verify our, your answer is right or wrong for this, then we have to follow this third step. That is verification. If you practice this, then you will be thorough with your answer. What we have to do? We have to add all the three numbers. That is cost of plot, cost of material and amount spent on labor. Okay. If we get the total amount here, that is 87 lakhs. If we get that one, then our answer is perfect. Okay, we will move to solve this. Here 5 plus 5 in the unit place is 10. Now we will write 0, 1 is carried over. Then 9 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 that is 13. Correct, 3 here, 1 carried over. Then uh, 6 plus 1, 7, 7 plus 7. That is 14 plus 1, that is 15, correct? 5 here, 1 carried over. Now, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 1, that is 14. 4 here, 1 is carried over. Then 7 plus 4, how much? 11, 11 plus 9, that is 20, plus 1. So, 21. 1 we will write here. 2 carried over. Remember this. Now, 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 2. 7. Now, here. 2 plus 5 plus 1. That is 8. We got same answer. Correct? That is the total amount used to build the house. So, our sum is perfect. Got this? If you try this verification for all these types of sum, then you will get the confidence to solve more and more sums. Okay? Thank you dear children. And there are so many sums in your textbook. Please go through them and try to solve them.